kind of like convinced me to go vegan. Like, oh, did I? Yeah, yeah. So I watched like yeah, like all your videos and like the vegan games and kind of stuff. And you watch vegan games and, and yeah, vegan games and yourself and like yeah. uh, Earthling yeah, and all that stuff. And um, yeah. how long have you been vegan for now? Uh, around 18, 20 months. Sick man. Yeah, it's work, bro. And a half. Thanks. I just wanted to say uh, yeah, thank you for everything. It was uh, it's like I'm, I've turned like a few of my family members vegan and Sick, my, my brother lost like 20 kilos in like 10 weeks or something. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Good work, so, brother. Yeah, Keep it up, man. No Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Cheers, Cheers brother. Much about the dairy industry? Not so much. No. Yeah. Okay, so obviously all cows in the dairy industry have yeah, to be yeah, pregnant. Yeah. Right, right, right. And right. we take the calf away so we can take the milk. Right, right. If right, it's right. a male calf, the males are destroyed, or they they they're risen, they're grown for veal, and right. then they're killed at a very young age. The females suffer the same fate as their mother, so they're. They're grown so they can be impregnated. Then they're yeah. forcibly impregnated and their children are taken away until they can't produce milk anymore. Right. And when they're spent, they're called like a downer, they go down. A spent cow is then slaughtered for second grade hamburger meat. So all the animals in the dairy industry are sent to the slaughterhouse. And we're just saying we've got like 10 plant-based milk options over there. Coconut milk, rice milk, oh, almond milk, yeah. um, soy milk. Mm. Milks that don't have a body count and that don't have as much suffering as dairy industry does. So, would you like to try plant-based milk? Maybe, yeah. May I? Yeah, yeah, we're all sorts. What's going on, bro? They're all in cages and locked up, being milked. Cows are being milked? Yeah. It's about to be slaughtered. Cow's about to be slaughtered? Yeah. What's happening to her? He's about to be shot. You own dairy farms or you are on the dairy farm I with the cow? No, I own it. Okay. I've been a dairy farm around my life. I, I think it's a spoiled me too. What, what happens to the bobby calves? Oh, we reared them, man. You reared them? We reared all the replacements and the other ones are reared for beef. What about the ones that you don't need? They're, they go for beef. They go for... When they're, Veal? They're fat. And now? Just got shot. What happens to them when they can't produce milk anymore? There's blood everywhere and it's been carried away off. We send them, we sell them in the mart or they go to the factory. They go to the slaughterhouse? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are killed humanely now. How do you kill someone humanely? They're humanely killed. How, how do you do that? Do you know how they do it in the slaughterhouse? Oh yeah, I've often seen the kill, yeah. Bolt gun in the head. Slit their throat open. It's, she's hanging by one leg and she's upside down. Here's chocolate um, soy milk. Thank you. Yeah. One thing to note with dairy is it's full of hormones because um, the cow's pregnant when she's giving milk. So right. it's full of uh, mammalian hormones like we're right. mammals, right? Right, right, right? So those hormones are for a little calf to grow them really big. Mm. As a fully grown adult, Right. We have no need for breast milk anymore, we've weaned off. Right, exactly. And this breast milk is for another animal, a very a bigger animal. Mm. So these hormones, they create chaos in our body and they stimulate cancer growth. Prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer are intrinsically linked to the hormones in, in dairy milk. So you use of a campaign now to stamp out dairy farmers. Well, we're just we're looking at it from the animal's perspective. The animal doesn't want to be enslaved for their milk and have their throat slit open and well, turn part, into beef. Yeah, but the sad part of it is look at all the millions of, of, of human beings that's been killed in war yeah. and killed over the religion. Oh, yeah. Do you know we kill two billion animals a week for food and products we don't need? That's more than any wars combined, I think, in one week. I'll, I'll return that to you. I, I could drink it, you know. It's not. Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah, I've tried it. I've okay. taken I'll two steps on It's a lot healthier for us. You know, there's a lot of uh, hormones in the breast milk of a cow because it's uh, full of estrogen and progesterone and hormones like that because they're pregnant when they're giving the, the breast yeah. milk. Yeah. And they, those hormones, they fertilize uh, cancer cells in our body and um, hormonal cancers like ovarian, breast and prostate. I, I'm drinking the lot of time now and I'm still on my feet. <laughs> But you're playing, you're playing um, a bit of a risky game there because it's Russian roulette. The countries with the highest
highest dairy consumption also have the highest rates of osteoporosis because the calcium is leached from our bones to buffer the acidity that the dairy creates in the body. Really? So it's counteractive to you know this calcium for strong bones. It's too much calcium for us because we're a different animal. The calves have to go somewhere. They can't drink the mother's milk. So. Well, the bobby calves are killed either on their first day of life or they're grown a little bit to be killed for veal, so oh, really so young age. Veal, yeah, right. Or the females, they're enslaved like their mothers and forcibly impregnated and milked and until they can't produce milk anymore, then they're killed as well. Okay. Well, thank you. Cheers. What happened? Her throat got slit. Her throat got slit? Yeah. It's not nice to look at. Did you know that that's what happens in the dairy industry for cheese and chocolate and milk? Uh, Didn't have no idea. Uh, me neither, man. It's pretty crazy, eh? Yeah. Um, Do you think it's unnecessary? Yeah, a bit, but yeah, it's bad. Yeah, we bad. You know, we've got like soy milk, rice milk, oat milk, coconut milk, um, vegan cheese, vegan ice cream, that we don't need to do that to cows. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Are you a bit shocked? Yeah. You're a bit shocked? Yeah. Sorry, bro. You know they're intelligent, though. You... I know. I study them. Yeah. I know all about them. They caught you. And they know exactly when they're going into the next paddock, when they're due to go in. They even know if, if the paddock is not good enough, they come back and they... Yeah. What about when you take the babies away? Do they do they pine? Yeah, they do. They, yeah, they, they do, yeah. yeah, they're upset. Yeah, yeah? yeah they, they do. Get... Yeah, I I've heard it a lot. Yeah. Can I also speak? What do you think about? Are there any like ethical uh, milk production? Like, let's say cows that walk free or organic milk or anything? Yeah, but even free range organic cows have their calves taken away. Right. Free range organic cows are enslaved for their milk. Okay. Free range organic cows are sent to the same slaughterhouse. Okay. So. Better conditions doesn't mean freedom for the animal. Okay. Yeah, it just means less cruelty. And in Australia, there's no legal framework that pertains to what free range actually is. So they can call it free range. Okay. And there could be things happening down the line that you don't see. Part of the air they might be. Yeah, yeah. And we don't think there's a humane way to put a bolt gun in an animal's head after she's lived a life of slavery. Well, it's just because I've got kids. You got kids? No, I have no kids, no. Yeah. You can imagine, they're a very maternal animal. Animal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can imagine, but I think it's just something that I've grown up with. And Do you think it's weird we still breastfeed from another species? Uh, a little, yeah, but um, I don't know, it's just, oh, no, I'm shocked. It's shocking. Yeah. When I first seen that one, it shocked me a lot, man. Yeah. Would that, watching something like that, because that's a reality of the dairy industry, that's standard procedure here in Australia as well, standard procedure. Knowing that, would you change your dairy consumption? Um, uh, it's kind of hard to consider lots of a diet has got dairy in dairy it. It yeah. make you think about it, it more. You think, yeah. How about I give you some more information to take with you? and uh, yeah, you can sure. educate yourself further on it. Uh, dairy is intrinsically connected to breast cancer. Which I don't agree with. Yeah, okay. now, because it's full of the hormones to grow the cow winter. really big. Because the, the, really, the, the calf is really small. The breast milk is specially formulated for that calf to grow it really big. Yeah. And we're fully grown humans, we shouldn't be weaned off breast milk. So what it does is it, the hormones stimulate you know, breast lumps, prostate cancer in men. The science is pretty strong, we shouldn't be drinking milk from another species. What uh, organisation do you, or do you have an we, we just um, ask people not to use animals for okay. food and products they don't need when we have alternatives. Okay. So we, we, we advocate for vegan lifestyle. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Not really an organisation, just a movement. A movement oh, for animals. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Are you down with that? Yes, <laughs> You down with that? He's interested I, I understand, though, he's I understand interested his, in this. Yeah, yeah. I understand his position. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. It's just hard when there's a victim involved. I so we have to look at it from... I can understand. Yeah. I can understand. Like if that were dogs, people would be like, you know, there would be uproar. It's good to have, us to have a chat yeah. about it. And on here, if you feel like you've if you've got enough information, then you can get them assigned a mentor, and you know you can try a plant-based vegan life lifestyle. So, if you, if you after watching all that information, you feel like you want to do that, you can go to that website there. You can get signed a mentor. And being vegan is the only way we can, we don't do this to animals. Yeah. Any thoughts? Closing thoughts? Yeah, um, oh, just like I'm so shocked. It's pretty bad. It's oh, gruesome. You didn't. It's bad. Why do you think they don't show that to us in the on TV? Because it would make you stop buying milk, beef, everything. You wouldn't want to eat animals anymore, right? Eh? No. You got a dog? You got a dog? Uh, yeah. You think like if we did that to dogs, people would be upset? Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Do you think they're any different in the way they suffer? 
No, all animals. All animals are the same, yeah? yeah. I reckon we might have a new vegan here. <laughs> That's the face I, I pulled when I first realised, and I was like, "What am I doing? Like, you know, without without our money, these industries they go down. They they, they can't do this to animals anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's bad, real bad. Thanks a lot, bro. Yeah. Not milk, it's juice. Milk comes from the breast of a cow. And a female and an elephant, and everything else. Yeah, it's an animal. We should drink. We're drinking human milk, not cow's milk. Yeah.